Hi, this is Captain Pete Alex, Vision Quest Sport Fishing, and today we're going to talk about my weighted steel setups for Lake Ontario trout and salmon fishing. Let's first start with the setup. My preferred rod is a Tolora Medium Fast Action uh, trolling rod with either a 700 or an 800 Dakota non line counter trolling reel. So let's start with the reel assembly. Pretend we have an empty reel here, which would be a 7 or 800 Dakota reel. We are going to install 50 pound Power Pro backing on the reel all the way till we get to our uh, inline swivel, which connects the Power Pro to the weighted steel. A second option, once you've installed your Power Pro 50 pound onto your reel, is to also, using an Albright knot, install a segment of 25 pound gamma high vis gold line. The reason I like to install a segment of 25 pound high vis uh, gold gamma line is for two reasons. One is it allows me to see uh, my lines as I deploy them or when I have fish coming in or if I want to fight a fish and try and deploy a line at the same time. Also, if I've got a couple fish on at the same time and they are on my long lines, I'm able to see where the lines are going, where the fish is going, and do the up and over and under and over and move the rods, all that. So it allows me to see that line in the water very clearly when that angler is bringing a fish or two. The other thing is, I like how this copal or monofilament attaches to planar board clips, whether you're using a rubber band type release or a pinch pad release. The first method, you would tie your backing to the inline swivel, and then you would tie your weighted steel to the other end of the swivel and use an inline crimp sealed off by a piece of shrink wrap tubing. The second method is you would use a two-way inline swivel, attach your backing to the one end, then you would do a simple overhand knot and tie your weighted steel to the other end of the swivel and then seal it off with a piece of shrink wrap tubing. Last year is my first year using the weighted steel product. I tell you what, I loved it. Uh, guys have been telling me about the product for a few years now, telling me how easy it is to use, it basically leaves your reel like your fishing leg core. If you do get the occasional tangle, they're somewhat forgiving and you can undo your tangles quite easily. One thing I noticed about using the weighted steel uh, last year was I had zero break-offs at the connection where the weighted steel is tied to the two-way swivel end. Using copper in the past, I've had multiple break-offs there if I did not retie that copper connection quite frequently. Last year I did not retie that connection the entire season between the, between the end of the weighted steel and that two-way swivel and had zero issues. So the next step, once you've got your weighted steel attached to your backing and, and you've, you've reeled up whatever, two, three, or 400 feet of weighted steel, it's basically time to do the leader in. And you're basically going to do it the same exact way. You're going to use a two-way inline swivel. Um, you're going to tie either an overhand knot and cinch that up tight, or you can use a crimp with the shrink wrap tubing over top, and then the other end will have your leader. Now, a lot of guys are going to go uh, straight fluorocarbon, whether it's 20 or 25 or heavier, from their inline swivel where it terminates to the weighted steel. You know, uh, spool 25 or 30 feet of fluorocarbon before you put it on your snap swivel, or some guys may choose to put a segment of 20 or 25 or 30 pound straight monofilament, again another small inline swivel, and then maybe 10 or 12 foot of fluorocarbon line of choice at that point. Hi guys, Captain Pete here. Today we're going to go over the weighted steel termination kit and connection by simply using shrink wrap tubing, a crimp, a barrel swivel and the backing of choice. All these parts and pieces are supplied in the termination kit from Torpedo Steel. So once you have those two pieces on, you're going to insert your weighted steel through one end of the barrel swivel, bring it around and insert the end into the crimp. Once you have the 
the line inserted into the crimp, you're simply going to snug that up to the head and straighten that swivel out. Then using a quality pair of wire cutters, you're going to put two crimps into the crimp. Then you're going to cut the tag end off using a quality pair of snips and then slide the shrink wrap tubing back over top and connect it uh, almost right to about the midway point of that barrel swivel. Once you have that done, you're going to take a lighter and heat that shrink wrap tubing up so you can twist it. And what I like to do here is I just like to wet my fingertips to, because that will be hot and uh, it also helps you twist that. So you're going to twist the shrink wrap tubing nice and tight on both ends, basically taper it down so that completes that connection. Then taking a 50 pound Power Pro, you're going to put a, a trialing knot or the knot of your choice on there. And tie it off. I like to use ceramic cutting scissors. They do a great job of cutting super braid backing versus regular scissors or wire cutters. So the knot's done, you're gonna cinch that up, cut the excess off. Again, using ceramic cutters. So that's how I connect my Power Pro backing if I'm gonna use Power Pro. Another option is to use a heavy line like a 25 pound copal or monofilament. In this case, I would like to use a high vis gamma gold as my backing if my reel had the capacity. Same thing, I'm going to install a trialing knot right here. And cut off the excess tag. Again, all these parts and pieces are supplied in the weighted steel termination kit, making it extremely handy. There you go. That is the termination to weighted steel using monofilament or a 50 pound Power Pro Super Braid backing. It's important to have the right tools, including a sharp pair of wire cutters. Thanks for watching.